welcome to the video today. Um, I wasn't expecting to spend that much money in there, but you know, you do sometimes. Um, I was just explaining the car. Alright guys, so we ended up getting a green mandarin in there, a little guy, and we also had to get some serious nails for my brother's tank to kind of sift through that sand, and we also got some garlic extreme, I think it was called, and some special kind of brine shrimp. And someone was telling me that that is the best way to get them trained off of um, pods and onto frozen food, so we're going to do that because we do not want this little guy to die. It's very expensive, so next time, <laughs> so if y'all want to do that, know that the garlic stuff is so expensive. Like any of that stuff, any of the bottled stuff is so expensive. I'm just blown away. But anyway, apparently George from Crawlfish 12G was there um, the other day and I'm kind of sad because I missed it. I'm here all the time and the one day that I'm not there, George was here. But anyways, um, I bet that was the day I talked to him. Yeah. Anyways guys, that is super cool. I'm excited for Aquashella. I hope to see all of you there. It's going to be insane, it's going to be mega, people from out of state are flying in, and it's just going to be crazy, we're going to see all kinds of crazy, all the hottest new stuff on the market, and you'll be seeing me get some new fishies as well, so that will be pretty awesome. Alright guys, I just got home and I'm acclimating our new fish to the tank right now. So what I usually do to acclimate is I empty out most of the water and just leave barely enough in there so that the water kind of acclimates faster but not like too fast so it gives them good enough time and this little guy here baby mandarin i believe it's a male because of his dorsal fin you can see that nice spike on it um he is a beautiful creature right there small enough for this tank perfect and if i have to i could always move him out to this one once i clean it ignore the glass it's really dirty i just got home haven't had a chance to clean it but, yeah, this just doesn't have as much swimming space, but I think you'll have a fun time hunting in here for some pods. And I know I do have some pods in the back, so he won't eat them all. So he'll just, he'll still have some. And I'll be training this guy to eat frozen food. So that will be quite an experience. So I'm really hoping he does well for that and decides to eat. But look at the little guy. He looks kind of hungry, so I'll have to feed him up good tonight if he eats. But everyone at the store is saying he had really nice colors, and that is very true. So we're going to let him acclimate a little bit to the temperature. And then I'm just going to use my water cup and get some water out of here to put in the bag very slowly over the next like 20 minutes. I'm going to put some water from this tank in there so we can adjust to the pH as well. Because you do have to consider that when you acclimate, you have to acclimate to the pH and all the other type of variables for this because that does impact their gills. So, there's that. And I'm just going to leave them alone for the next few minutes and I will be back in a second. I'm going to get some water from here and dump it in there real quick. Guys, he's acclimating pretty well and this is who I've been talking to about the mandarin and... He's been giving me some good advice on how to take care of him and get him frozen trained. So that is what we're going to do. Um, so big shout out to him for helping me out. But yeah, we're going to get this guy um, frozen trained. He, so if you guys don't know, mandarins eat a special diet of copepods, which are these. I'll insert a picture since I can't find any right now. But they usually come out at night, I see them more, but what they do is they clean up your tank and they break down waste, so they're the best things to have in your tank, and these little guys eat them. Now, the thing is, is there's not enough. These guys eat them all in a day, so you really do want to train them to eat frozen foods so that you don't have to keep buying pods, which are very expensive, and it's just not enough to keep this little guy alive. So, that is what you'll be seeing probably next video actually the video after that, um, you'll be seeing some frozen training, frozen food training, yeah, something like that. But yeah, oh, do you see his mouth come out? It's not really focusing on real good. Let me get that little guy. The lighting's really bad, but it's definitely a male because of the pointy fin, but I think I'm about to release him. So I'm going to 
reach in and grab the little guy right now. Come here, little guy. Here he goes into his new home. Can you zoom in on the little guy? Did you get him? Oh, wait, where is he? Guys, here he is. Let me get a good view of him before he runs away. Well, what I can tell you about insurance companies is the problems that I have with them. guys thank you so much for watching this video um the mandarin is doing great ever since i made this i made this a while back um so currently right now i'm editing an aquashella video which i'm trying to get up for y'all soon um i'm trying to make it the best i can just got so much footage from that um but yeah the mandarin's doing great um if you stick around i will have a video about how to frozen train them coming up soon so um yeah it's actually quite easy you just gotta be able to put time and effort into it so um yeah that video should be coming up in the next week i guess i don't know but other than that i hope you enjoy this video and i will see y'all in that next one Let's get back. I always like go way in my face.